last thing that we need to do with this form is we need to, you might be wondering, okay, where did this JMO form come from? Like, where did we designate that? We didn't say that anywhere in here. So where's that sort of coming from? And what we do is we, in our con uh, constructor up here, WordPress, this is where we start talking about hooks. So there's a couple of things going on here, right? We're, we're using built-in WordPress functions in our PHP code. We've imported just a, a regular PHP form builder class. This is not anything specific to WordPress. And we're using that. We're also writing sort of standard PHP code. And, you know, we're using PHP methods like uh, printf and filter input and uh, all sorts of things. So we have this sort of a mashup, right, of WordPress built-in functions of methods from a class that we included and then built in PHP stuff. So how does this all sort of come together? How do we, you know, how does WordPress know the way that we want to use this and so forth? And so essentially what you have is you have you, what you write in your PHP code, right? Which is what we've done in, in our form method here and in our class and all that. And then you have WordPress and you need to tie the two together. The way that you do that is through what are called hooks. So if you look through WordPress, there as Word the actual WordPress code, let's see if we can find something in here. Let me show you. So if we go to, actually let's go to WordPress includes. Oh no, actually we're, we're using admin posts. So let's just go to admin, admin, and let's go to includes. And let's see if we can find admin post. Interesting. Well, let's 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 try and open this one. Hmm. Yeah. Just trying to find one here where I can show you this. Probably post.php would have this. And so this is the actual WordPress code. This is the WordPress pages and stuff uh, that you, that you see when you when you look through stuff. And I'm just looking for uh, a hook to show you what this might look like. Eh, let's just do this. Let's see if there's a do action in here anywhere. Okay, you see this right here. It says do action. So this is what's called an action hook. So essentially, WordPress is putting in this this function, and it's it's, it's a little bit confusing to the the way it all works. But essentially, you, right here, I can specify that I want a callback function to run before WordPress continues on with this uh, the rest of this code. Okay, so. And, and the name of this hook is post locked dialogue. So the way that I would tell WordPress which one of these, because these are all over the place. Uh, you can see there's three do action hooks in this file. Do action post lock loss dialogue and do action WP creating autosave. So the way I tell WordPress which one of these I want to uh, to hook into and 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 have my callback function run is by this name right here. Now this variable is data. This is a, a data that WordPress is going to send to my callback function. So if we come back up here, this one says post this, uh, I haven't actually checked it, but I would assume yeah, it says right here, it says the post object. So it's going to send all of the post data about the particular post that happens to be being viewed at the time. So I can get all of the post data uh, and use that in my callback function. So this is an action hook. Let's see if there's any filters in here. Yeah, so apply filters is a, a similar idea, but it's a little bit different. So an action hook is, is sort of something that's going to be, it, it, Oftentimes it's something where you are going to add something to the display of, of WordPress or something that WordPress is doing. So let's say I was on this edit page uh, page and I wanted to 
add a button right here. Well, there, uh, again, this is a little, uh, I want to be clear that this is a tiny MC editor, so it works a little bit different. So this isn't exactly 100%, but just in, in general, the idea, if I wanted to add a button here, I would be adding all new sort of input to this, right? So that would be generally where you would see an action hook. A filter is, let's say I have a list of items. So right here under template, I have a list. And let's say I want to add an item to data that already exists. That's where you would generally see a filter. Or maybe I wanted to remove one of these. Again, you could do that with filters. So filters are generally working with, you have sort of um, some data and that data is being passed to you through these variables. And oftentimes it's multiple ones like this. And you're going to change the way that that data works or, or something about that data. And then you're gonna return all the data back to WordPress so it can continue in processing it like normal. An action hook is where you're going to add something completely new. WordPress is gonna run your callback function and it's not necessarily expecting any data returned back to it. It's just gonna run your callback function and then it's gonna continue processing. So with a filter, if you don't return, like if you don't grab the data that was sent to you from this filter and then return it back to WordPress, you'll sort of cause problems with WordPress. Whereas with an action, you don't necessarily always need to do that. Okay, so that's like a quick primer on actions. So for short codes, the one we need, uh, or, or the hook we need actually is a specialized one. So it's not called, it's called add short code like this. Okay, and it's going to allow us to, to sort of hook into WordPress and, you know, it'll add so that this short code will be processed when we're on this page. WordPress, instead of just outputting this, will actually output uh, what we have from our, our form method here. So we got to give the short code a name. So this is where we specify what we're going to, we want to go in here. So add short code. This is the name of the short code. And then we need to tell WordPress, okay, what method or what function is going to process the short code is going to, to generate the output that this short code is go supposed to have. Well, that's the method that we just created which is our form method. So this essentially tells WordPress, hey, we have a, a short code. The name of it is JMO form, right? And the brackets are, are how you designate that this is a short code. So that's a built-in WordPress thing. You don't need to put those in your name. You don't want to put those in your name here. And then you say, okay, whenever you come across this short code, you tell WordPress, whenever you come across this short code, we want you to run this method. Now, this is this array thing is specific to the fact that this is a class. So you need to tell WordPress the object and then the method that you want to use. So in this case, we're using this because we're already inside of this method. And then we're using the form method. If we were out here, let's say, for example, and we created a function. Let's just do function short code. And we won't make this too complicated. But if we were out here, then we would do add action my short code. That would be the name of the short code. And then we would just reference the function like this. Okay, so when you're when you're not in a class context it's it's sort of that simple you just re you know reference the name of the function but in a class context you got to tell you got to essentially account for that so that's what this is right here all right so when we do this then wordpress knows okay whenever i come across this short code i'm going to call this function or this method and that's going to build our form and that's how when we load this you know, this is the back end where we created this page. That's why when we open this and we view it, instead of just getting that, that the short code right here, we get the actual form, which is the form that we built right here. Okay. So that's, I mean, that's a really big part of working with WordPress plugins. This is something that you're going to do on a fairly regular basis. So uh, just wanted to, I know I'm sort of labored through that, but I really wanted to, to show you that part of it. 
Now, another thing that we're going to do when it comes to the front end is...